Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com, and we're here today at East 9th in St. Clair, and we're here with Commissioner Peter Lawson-Jones. Thanks for talking with us, Peter. Tom, it's always a pleasure to be interviewed by CoolCleveland.com. <laughs> it's great to have you here on the streets of Cleveland. Hey, you guys have gone through some pretty contentious votes here on the uh, Commissioner's uh, docket. Well, we certainly have had one contentious vote, and that's on the future of the Marcel Breuer Tower at the Ameritrust Complex. That's right. Yeah, wanted to ask you about that. Very rarely do you guys split your votes, the three commissioners. Usually it's a consensus. On this one, you did split from the other two and voted against uh, tearing it down. And uh, what, was your, what was your reasoning for that? Well, a couple of things. First thing that the public doesn't often understand is that most of the votes that we have at the Board of County Commissioners are pretty routine, pretty ministerial. Nothing significant or nothing in which there's a degree of controversy is necessarily involved. Now, we certainly over the years have on more substantive issues had our disagreements. Sure. And so this is one of those times. But it's rare. It is, mean, it, 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 it's rare given what's typically on our docket. Why did you uh, disagree on this one? I disagreed for a host of reasons. Uh, the first thing is in making it my decision on what should happen with the Marcel Breuer Tower, I kind of developed a decision matrix of five different factors. Uh, one factor was aesthetics. Another factor was, um, in addition to aesthetics, a second factor was um, functionality, whether or not a new building would suit the county better in terms of how we deploy our staff. A third factor yeah, because was... because this was one of the big issues is that the floor plan and the layout of this building, which was built in the 70s, really wouldn't suit uh, the needs of and the, the county. And the two primary concerns were that the floor plates are not long enough, right. not expansive enough, and that the ceiling height is not ideal. Right. So when we talk, when we, I looked at functionality, those were a couple of things that I considered. But there's some other factors that I thought were critical. One, does the building have architectural significance? The current building, Marcel Breuer Tower. Another uh, factor that was important to me was whether or not um, their preservation, sustainability, um, environment is best served by preserving as opposed to demolishing the building. And a fifth factor, of course, is cost. How much more costly is it right. to do new construction than adaptive reuse right. given the scarce and finite and limited resources that are available to, uh, the, right. to Cuyahoga County and are available through the generosity of our taxpayers? So I looked at, so I looked at, I put all these five factors kind of on the wall as it were. Right. Now in terms of aesthetics, I gave the check mark to new construction because it's always easier to knock down a building and to build what might aesthetically be a more attractive building. Because you have the rotunda, you have the Ameritrust Tower, the Marcel Breuer Tower, which each one is a distinct style. And if you have a contemporary building, you'll have a third style. Now that can be very architecturally interesting, but in terms of pure, pure aesthetics, uh, on a close call, I gave it to new construction. In terms of functionality, it's always easier to build a building anew and a fresh building to meet your needs, your so, staff needs, your technological needs. What was the reason you didn't vote to keep so, this so building? So I, I just want to let people know that I went through a very orderly and rational sure. process here, and I think an objective one. And so I gave the check mark in the area of functionality to new construction. Now. The building has architectural significance. It was constructed, it was designed by Marcel Breuer, a famous contemporary architect of global renown from the Bauhaus and the Brutalism School. Now, we don't have a lot of buildings in downtown Cleveland or in greater Cleveland that have architectural significance like that building. So I gave the check mark to adaptive reuse, retaining the structure in terms of architectural significance and doing something that people around the globe might find interesting. How we, how we somehow blended the rotunda, neoclassical, with the contemporary Marcel Breuer, with yet a third building that spoke to the 21st century. So in terms of architectural significance, the nod went with uh, adaptive building. reuse, the existing building. Now, in terms of um, preservation, environment, sustainability. It is a fact that it is easier when you're seeking LEED certification. If you want to get soap to be a silver level, 
your best your best advice your best advice to reuse what you already have right there are millions of gallons of embedded energy in the current structure right embedded energy the energy that it took to mine the resources and the minerals to get them to the manufacturing plant to manufacture them to take the finished product from the manufacturer all the way to um, the site and then the actual construction itself so when you think about all the embedded energy and the cost of taking all the taking down the building and taking that debris and dumping it in a landfill it's clear that if you're concerned about sustainability in the environment you're bet we're best suited and we're best advised to keep the building finally there's a matter of cost at a minimum there is a 20 million dollar difference in new construction as opposed to adaptive reuse. Why were you not able to convince the other two commissioners to follow your matrix and your, your uh, decision making process and come down on the side of retaining this or looking at adaptive reuse? A great question. Let me also throw in the, add the fact that if you retain the tower you can get about 15 million dollars in a federal tax historic tax credits and with the new state tax credit we could have gotten perhaps another five or ten million dollars right. so you're talking so 20 30 million we're talking a minimum of 35 million dollar difference right when you have limited resources you can't expend 35 million dollars on a public building that you really don't have on top of what you've already paid on top of the 22 million dollars to purchase it that's also rather peculiar you pay 22 million dollars to buy a complex and then you knock down one of the buildings and pay more money to, to, to uh, put a new structure in its place. Why wasn't I able to convince my uh, colleagues? It wasn't for lack of trying. It wasn't because I didn't lay out a very rational approach to assessing what was the best option. You know, Let me say it this. It didn't even seem like they went through uh, much of a decision-making process at all. I mean, from the outside, maybe they had a rational process that you're going through. Maybe they just came up with a different decision, but it didn't appear from the outside that they spent much time at all considering any other option. Let me say this. I'm, I'm the last one to criticize my colleagues uh, because from time to time we're going to go disagree on issues. You would have to ask Tim and Jimmy why they made the decision that they did. I know that Jimmy spoke about functionality and that the and, J, and Tim said that the current structure, the Marcel Breuer Tower, is ugly. And so I know that there were sentiments along those lines. But you'd really have to talk to them. I don't want to speak for them Where do we in go terms of their here? decision. You, uh, the, the county, even uh, though you voted against it, it did pass two to one. It's out of the county's hands now, pretty much. It's now over in the city planning department. Absolutely. What's next? The planning commission is the final arbiter. And what They're are kind you, of the court you, of appeals here. Sure, but what are you going to do at this point in terms of uh, well, pursuing I, I have, this issue? I have spoken to each and every member of the planning commission to make sure they understood my perspective as a member of the, the minority on that vote. Um, so I've, I've spent substantial time with many of them explaining it. And I've also been, uh, I've, I've certainly kept abreast of all the other parties who are now rallying to the cause of saving the Marcel Breuer Tower. What I find particularly instructive is that the, the architectural firm of uh, Davis Brody Bond uh, with Max Bond is flying in on their own nickel from New York City, not because they can get anything out of this. The contract has already been let to Bob Madison. But, but they really didn't get listened to much, did they, in the first round? They were re, they were at pushing for adaptive reuse. They were absolutely. And Matter their proposal fact, really didn't get, get a, much of a hearing. Not only did they push for adaptive reuse, but they pushed for it despite the fact that they were instructed, again by a two to one vote, they were instructed in their presentation to only talk about new construction. So, so with the what second... What to accomplish at this point? If it's already passed through and the City Planning Commission is going to respect that vote, I mean... Oh I, don't, oh, I don't think that... Let me say, the City Planning Commission respects the parties, but that doesn't mean that the City Planning Commission is going to vote to uh, give and to grant the county a permit to demolish the so building. So you, you still think that this is an open issue and that there's oh, a there chance is, for this oh, to there, be revisited? There is an excellent chance that the City Planning Commission will deny the permit to demolish the Ameritrust Tower. So there's a couple of public meetings coming up on June 1st and June and 8th? June 15th, I believe. June 15th? Uh, we'll put notices of that in cool Cleveland. People should Please probably do. show up at Absolutely. these uh, meetings. Oh, you can rest assured it'll be one of the more lively sessions of the Planning Commission.